Hey what's going on guys and welcome back to another training video in Back to Basics. Today this one is going to be working on diving and building up quad muscles in my training session. So first of all we started off with sidestepping from pole to pole like I did in my like other videos where I basically did side steps to each of the cones. Did that and then took a ball pass to me. It started off pretty slow and then it built up as I did each set. I basically started off with doing four reps in, each, in the first set and then it got slightly faster. Um, to it was basically went from passes into my hands to actual shots which I could either catch or parry away it didn't really matter it was basically me working on the strength of my legs getting down to the ground getting a clean dive and you, as you guys can see like I'm actually getting down to my left side a lot quicker now like it's slowly building up like for me it's like a few months ago like I just wouldn't have better dive left my diving left was bad and I know it's a mind game and that's a mentality like, that's in my head but from now I'm actually breaking that and I'm making sure that I can dive to my left. It's not absolutely perfect. I can't fling myself as far as I would with my right. But by the end of preseason, that would be good. But anyway, you saw that mistake there. Really bad mistake. I kind of misjudged that. But that thing's happened. And now the, these shots got a bit faster now, as you can see. Um, I started to parry them away. I probably should have caught that one. Um, but I'm using the One Glove Company's Geo Fluxes in this. These are the gloves that I'm training with at the moment. And you guys would have seen, or you might not have seen just yet. But there will be a video if it hasn't been released already on the gloves themselves but you know I, I do love them so far as you guys can see like i'm i'm the, the shots are picking up the pace i'm picking up the pace i'm parrying it and that ball gets deflected the bit of a dud for that one but it's basically the same drill to start with and just seeing it, what i can do is working on fitness and leg muscle strength and really just getting down and getting back up as quick as i can and there i kind of like pushed it away which is quite good instead of just like instead of uh, just parrying it but that, was, that was a bit of a poor effort, but then it went on to building the quads here. This is this is the main one, building up those leg muscles by jumping as hard as I can over the red rope and then taking a ball into my hands. It started off like this anyway, and then it worked into a different way. But this is just the beginning one. It, it got quite tiring. This is the first time I've done this, and it's like this session was intense. Like for me, I haven't had like an intense session like this. I don't think ever because whenever I train with my club, it's like you have three keepers and we all have little breaks in between. But from this, it was just like back to back. And we're jumping as well. It just got really tiring. And when it started getting into the actual diving as well, that just that's when it killed. Like, I felt like passing out a few times in this training session, but that's good. Like, like if you're not, if you don't feel like you're passing out, or you're going to pass out, then you're not training hard enough. And if you go away thinking, I've still got a load of energy left, then you need to change that. You need to make sure that you really just give it your all in your training sessions. But I made sure I jumped as high as I could as well. Like, you can see, like, I clear the barrier, or I clear the red ribbon quite a lot like by quite a lot either way um, I try to make sure I jump as high as I can really well there's muscles in the legs I've got quite strong legs normally um, but because I'm because obviously I'm in the stage of cutting down like I'm still quite heavy so jumping gets quite tiring as a keeper like when when you're not the lightest so I need to really make sure I do get down that extra 10 kilograms before the season starts but I'm working on it it's slow progression and I will definitely get there by the beginning of the season Nice save there with my left hand. I need to work on not rolling or diving backwards after making a save with my left. But you can see me here. The, the first set is done and I've just like collapsed on the floor. Like just getting a bit of a rest in. But then we go again. Making a save down to my right. My right side doesn't really have many issues. My left side is getting better. Like I can actually get down pretty well now. And I'm, I'm, I'm watching this back and I'm thinking. I, like I said, I wouldn't be able to do this a few months ago. But I hopefully will be balancing out my sides by the end of the preseason. This isn't even preseason yet. This is like before preseason. Um, preseason for me starts end of June with my team. So for me, this isn't class of preseason. This is just a training drill. And like I said in the other video, it's back to basics. Um, you can see here now it's set diagonally and I miss quite a lot on my left side. And my diving technique is bad and I just start really hurting my hip. You could you would have tell a minute ago that I just started hurting my hip. Um, but because it's bad diving technique, I just don't fully extend. Um, because I was feeling the pain either way, but then I went to my right side. My right side was pretty fine. What a shot there! I didn't say that by the way. That went through the net. Um, hand to that, not the best, but I'm still getting hands. It'll get close. This came to the end of the session, and I was just absolutely knackered, so knackered. And it was back to back. Like this is cut. You guys wouldn't see, but it, like, I cut each one, um, so you wouldn't be able to see me having to run back to it and then go again and then run back to it and go again. I tried my best. I mean, it was really tiring. I'm not the fittest at the moment. And this is what this training is for. And this is what preseason's for. To get into that shape and get to that fitness ready for the season. And um, for me, never playing a goal before. I don't know the intensity. I don't know the high intensity of goalkeeping that you need in training. Like in matches, you won't have to do this intense stuff. Um, it's apart from those like short intense moments, maybe. 
But apart from that, like training is just absolutely killer, which is what I want. I want this sort of training. I needed what I can to really get into my shape and get into my form and work towards it. I also need to make sure I dive with two hands sometimes because sometimes I dive with just the one hand. But I still make the save, but I need to try and get the two hands behind it just in case it misses my hand or I don't get a clean connection either way. But I'm just in a bad habit of using one hand. And some of them I just knew I wasn't getting near, so I just didn't dive properly. Um, but you can see towards the end, I'm really tiring now. I've kind of stopped cutting it a little bit, so you can just see really trying to run like and the, it's like running it's the diving and then the jumping and then getting back up and then the diving and the jumping is just absolutely knackering but anyway guys hopefully you've enjoyed this video let me know what you want to see in the next one thanks for watching and i'll see you next time See everything we